by not wanting much, you can quickly achieve affluence. If you have unending wants, then you will have great difficulty ever achieving affluence. And so hunter-gatherers feel contented with much less than we do because those are things which are readily available to every individual in the society. And it's food, it's companionship, it's song, it's, uh, you know, it's these basic things which human beings need to feel fulfilled, to feel happy. And if feeling good could be achieved through a different way of being in the world, through really deriving joy by seeing someone else being happy too, and not just you yourself, but actually wanting to create the happiness that you feel in everybody, wouldn't it be so much more desirable? Of course, people would say that um, within our own small groups, we are doing that still. I am happy because my best friend is happy. I am happy because my yeah, girlfriend's exactly. happy. Yeah. It just doesn't seem to extend beyond a very small group, but what you're suggesting is this is actually a universal thing that, that can happen in a much wider society. Yes. Well, it won't happen just effortlessly. It will only it's happen work. through work and effort. And that's one of the lessons you get living in uh, an egalitarian society is that you need to work to this. Mm. You must be really strong in resisting hierarchy, showing off, uh, hoarding, all these things when they start to emerge. So how do they manage to maintain this balance so effectively? Well, well I think it's mainly through women. Women really give that balance as the bringers of That's life. Right. But you're not yeah. saying the women are in charge, they're, they're just... Oh no, the Benjeli women that we lived with, in a way, periodically they assume power and they relinquish power. Okay. In order to put everybody in their place so that there is proper sharing and proper respect for each gender's contribution to life. They do that by an activity they call masana. That is play, playful play, singing and dancing. Because you know, when, when you hear music, you become happy, you become softer, you become more willing to share, to be generous, to be kind. It enchants people to bring out the best in them, to, to celebrate that oneness. Um, what do you mean by that? Hmm. See, well, this is the difficult a... thing to, to describe. <laughs> it's, it's the, the business of Masana is to turn a group of individuals into a cohesive group of, uh, uh, of experience, of consciousness, that expands beyond the individual. And it's difficult to describe unless you actually participate in these mm. sorts of things. And it's done also to entice people back into a better kind of behavior. It's done very humorously. It's not, you can't really go and say, oh, don't do this, do this. It's done with so much humor to show people it's actually rubbish to behave like that. It's silly, it's <laughs> not necessary. Yeah. They have something that we, we all long for. We really all still, I think this is why you are here as well. You're looking for something. And it's something so sweet. It, it makes you feel so sweet that you feel you, you found something of that, that we have lost. And the drama of everyday life here is just so exciting, you know. I mean, you see life, you see death, someone dies, it's there in front of everybody. Someone's suffering and, and really sick, it's there in front of everybody. It's not put away, compartmentalised as we do in our society. And you're and, never alone. And, it is yeah, that, well, that you yeah. are carried by the community. No one, if you are sad, even if one member of the group is sad, immediately something will be done because they know if even one goes down the drain, the whole group will go down the drain. That sense of community, of being carried, however you feel at any stage, that I think is phenomenal. It's a way of losing yourself, especially if you come from the West. We're so focused on the importance of me, of my individualism, my career, my this and my achievements, my... And, uh, and then what happens here is that suddenly all that my stuff, you know, give it a break mm. and then just join in this group. It's and they have verbs like mix your bodies up, mm. sanganyenjo, you know, mix up your bodies. And when you do these rituals, you don't sit separate, you mix up your bodies, you lay things, bodies, bits of you over each other, you hold each other. And, and as you start holding each other and then you start singing these overlapping melodies together where you're singing one part, I'm singing another part, Ingrid's singing another part. 
suddenly that minus is lost in this usness. And in that usness, it extends to the forest. And, and you get this big usness, which is not divided anymore, but to just start to connect into that multitude. I feel it inside as a man. It's like it's powerful coming from the women. No, in Masamanga <laughs> <laughs> And uh, is there is there a male response to this? Ah, but to papa should be to to Jelly women say that a jengi represents the spirit by which they became pregnant before the time when they invited the men to join with them. <laughs> Do 
Jerome wonders if this is a reenactment of the moment when the women rejected the alpha male and invited the other men to join with them. The beginnings of human society. The men need to keep him under control and away from the women so that all can live together. No chiefs, no shaman or leaders of any kind, but men and women playfully but seriously working away to maintain balance and respect for all. This extraordinary way of being, I'm told, is not just limited to small isolated groups, but extends out and overlaps with hundreds of thousands of people and communities across vast areas and very possibly our shared human ancestry. Soki me maka ba mukamba ba ba bo enda yesu yi me ni me subi bandele ba ve ke dike di busi adi ya sunga busa o ba pasi ba to die na li kambi yesu mo kata kongo ya ya djibo o bo soko di ba benda il faut ba linga ba ba sepele mo ngo ven di ba benda bene et puis adwa ndambo 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 na moto mo se tu adie Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every member of this community takes their part in maintaining the balance. If one person tries to show off or get out of hand, like a man claiming to be a better hunter, then the other men would simply remove his weapon and the women refused to cook his meat. The power of these women is really evident, accentuated by their being together, their solidarity in the public space. Thank <laughs> you.